Hey everybody, if you're a regular to my channel, this video probably will not interest you much, but to everybody else that's finding this, if you have a Yalink phone that has got an admin password that has been changed so you can't factory reset it, <clears throat> there's a couple different ways you can do it. So I just recently got a new phone system and they want an arm and leg for the phones, so I decided to buy used phones off eBay. Well, one of the phones I got happened to be locked, and the guy who was installing the phone system basically said, there's really no way you can do it, so I did a quick Google. I saw you could TFTP to the phone using Pumpkin or another TFTP type service with the files. I've always had problems setting that up. Um, I tried to do some Cisco phones one time, and I just gave up. Well, the Yalink has a unique feature where there's a USB port in the back. So what I did is I took a USB drive, went to the Yalink website, and I got the files. I loaded the three files. There's a ROM file and a couple other files. Loaded them to the USB stick, and you put the USB stick in the back of the phone. Now, here's the secret. When you go to boot up the phone to get to the USB stick, you need to hold down the speaker button. What you're going to do is you're going to hold down the speaker button, and then you're going to unplug the power from the phone. When you unplug the power from the phone, you'll plug it back in, continuing to hold down the speaker button. Continue to hold the speaker button down until you get uh, two options on the screen. You're gonna, it's gonna say one is TFTP and two is gonna be USB. You'll hit two for USB. What it's gonna do is it's gonna read the USB stick, download those files off the USB stick. It takes about five minutes or so. Reboots the phone, updates the firmware, reboots again, and then you have a brand new unlocked phone that you can factory reset and just so you can see that it's worked let's hit back to reboot the phone without or with a standard admin password or no password i guess you should say you'll hit the ok button you hold it down it says re, uh, reset to factory settings you'll click ok and then it's going to go through its resetting to factory please wait this takes about a minute or so then once it resets, obviously it'd be factory fresh again. But like I said, the, the problem I had with this phone when I got it, it already had extensions assigned to it and the password was changed. And the guy who was doing my phone system install said, no way, can't do it. And basically wanted me to buy more of his phones. And I got this phone for 50 bucks off eBay. And like I said, did a quick Google. I'm not good with the setting up the TFTP server on the computer and putting the files there. I tried it with a Cisco phone system that we had that was on, uh, uh, oh, not the Cisco setting, but it was on lock for like free PBX and no luck. But this worked out great because I could do it via USB and it made easy work. But I didn't see any YouTube videos on this online. So it took me a couple days to figure it out just because I saw somebody talk about it on one of the forums, and then um, their website is extremely hard to navigate. But I found the files that we're looking for, and we got it unlocked. So here we are. Sending requests, obviously, it's not hooked up <clears throat> on my LAN network that we have the server running on, so it doesn't matter. Uh, this is just running, just hooked up to my Ethernet at home. And here we are. We are back to a freshly unlocked phone. So if you buy a Yalink phone that is locked out because you don't have the admin password so you can't reset it, use the USB method. And especially if you have a few of these to do, it would be way easier just doing the USB method, going from phone to phone to phone. It takes about five minutes to do it, but that is all there is to it. So hopefully if you find this and you've got a Yalink phone that's locked out, I saw some videos where people say you hold this down, Reset the phone, go back, unplug the phone, and when it goes up to the IP screen, we tried that, it did not work. Um, this was, you know, reflashing it was the only thing that was going to fix this phone. So here's the fix if you run across it, and uh, hope this helps.